Welcome back to your next math lesson. And believe it or not, the most important word in today's lesson is the word of. So let's make sure we know how it works. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. And here we have two phrases. The first phrase is days of the week. And the second phrase is colors of the rainbow. And both of these phrases make sense. In the English language, you need to make sure that the word of comes in the middle of the phrase. That's the only way that it's going to make sense. And let's see what happens if I take the, the word of and put it at the end of the phrase. So let me take this word of and move it to the end of the phrase and let's see what happens. Now the first phrase says days the week of, which doesn't make any sense at all. Second phrase is colors the rainbow of. And again, that phrase it makes absolutely no sense because the word of is in the wrong place. In order for these phrases to make sense, the word of has to be in the middle of the phrase. So it's days of the week, colors of the rainbow. Now both phrases make perfect sense. So in a math problem like this, 80% of 40, you need to make sure that the word of comes in the middle of the phrase, otherwise it will not make any sense. And in math, the word of means multiply. So to solve this problem, 80% is 0 0.8 as a decimal. Of just means multiply, and 40 is just 40. So to solve 80% of 40, you just do 0 0.8 times 40, and that'll give you the solution. And this is an easy type of problem, but the challenge that you will find in today's lesson is there's more than one type of problem. So we're gonna learn about type one problems as well as type two problems. One of these is easier to solve than the other, but you will learn how to solve both of these problems today. Here is review lesson five, percent of a number. And once again, the most important word in today's lesson is the word of. We'll be learning about type one problems as well as type two problems. One of them is easier than the other, and we'll learn how to solve both. So let's start with type one problems. The directions say, box the correct phrase that contains the word of. Then solve the problem. Show your work using a bar model, proportion, or equation. And for today's problems, bar models and proportions are gonna be easier. So we'll focus on those two methods and we'll save equations for a different lesson. So let's take a look at box A. Box A says 50% of blank is 13. And once again, it says box the correct phrase that contains the word of. So let's go ahead and draw a box and make sure the word of is in the middle. So 50% of blank. And notice that the word of is in the middle of the phrase. That's how I can tell that I did it correctly. And as you recall from earlier, in math, the word of just means multiply. But here's the problem. I don't know what to multiply. I know that one of the numbers is 50%, and the other one here is blank. So I don't know what this other number is that I need to multiply. So I cannot solve this problem just by straight multiplication. I have to solve it a different way. And we're going to use a bar model as well as a proportion. Proportions are easier for these problems, so we'll start with that. And our proportion is going to look like this. Percent over number equals percent over number. So we'll set up our proportion this way, solve, and then we'll get our solution. So let's reread the problem. It says 50% of blank is 13. So 50% is 13. Write it down. And in this problem, they don't want to know what 50% is. They want to know what 100% is. So set up your proportion, and all you have to do is solve this proportion. How many times does 50% fit into 100%? It fits two times. So write down times two. Times two in the numerator, times two in the denominator. 50% times two is 100%. 13 times 2 is 26. So our answer here, 50% of 26 is 13, and that is a correct answer. 
And in math, I always say that you have to be able to see the answer. So let's try solving the problem again, except this time we're going to use a bar model. So let's set up our bar model first. Here is your 100% bar, and we're going to break it up into 50% sections. So this is 50%, and this is 50%. Let me reread the problem. 50% of blank is 13. So 50%, this 50% is 13. This 50% is also 13. And if you look at all 100%, 13 plus 13 gives us 26, which matches our previous answer. So 50% of 26 really is 13. Our final answer is 26. Let's take a look at box B, which is also a type 1 problem. 25% of blank is 21. So let's box the correct phrase that contains the word of. 25% of blank. Put a box around it. And we did this correctly because of is in the middle of the phrase. And as you recall, of means multiply. But the problem is, I don't know what to multiply together. I have 25%. But I don't know what this is, so I cannot just do straight multiplication to solve this problem. Let's solve it using a proportion first, and then we'll solve using a bar model. So first up, we'll use a proportion. It'll look like this. Percent over number equals percent over number. Okay, Just a reminder about what it's going to look like. So let's reread the problem. It says 25% of blank is 21. Write down 25% is 21. But they don't want to know what 25% is. They want to know what 100% is. Set up your proportion and solve the proportion. How many times does 25 fit into 100%? So 25% fits four times into 100% times 4 in the numerator, times 4 in the denominator. 25% times 4 equals 100%. 21 times 4 equals 84. So our final answer is 84. 25% of 84 is 21. And let me go ahead and erase that answer, and we'll check it using a bar model. So let's set up our bar model first. Here's the 100% bar. And we want to break it up into 25% sections. So cut it here, here, and here. This is 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. And all of this adds up to 100%. This 25% here is 21. This 25% is also 21. This 25% is 21, and this 25% is also 21. And if you look at all 100%, 21 four times gives you 84, which matches our previous answer. So we know that 25% of 84 is 21. So those are two examples of type 1 problems. And as we said earlier, Type 1 problems are actually the harder problems. Write it down. And that means that the good news is type 2 problems are the easier types of problems. And you will see why. Part 2 says, type 2 problems. Box the correct phrase that contains the word of, just like we did in the previous section. Then solve the problem. Show your work. So let's take a look at Boxy. Boxy says, blank is 50% of 48. The first thing that we have to do is box the correct phrase that contains the word of. So let's do that now. Put a box around 50% of 48. And notice that the word of comes in the middle of the phrase. That's how you can tell that you did it correctly. And as you recall from earlier, the word of just means multiply. So what makes type 2 problems easier 
is that I already know which two numbers to multiply, 50% and 48. So in this space, I'll go ahead and write down 50% of 48. Next, you need to convert 50% to either a fraction or a decimal. I'm going to use a fraction because it'll be easier for this problem. So 50% is 1 half of means multiply. 48 is just 48. And now you know how to solve this type of problem. So let's simplify first. Divide by 2, divide by 2. This gives us 24. So our final answer, 1 times 24 equals 24. So 24 is 50% of 48. And to make sure this makes sense, I'll change the 50% to 1 half. 24 is half of 48. And that is true. And that's how I can tell that my answer is correct. You also could have used a decimal to solve this problem. If you didn't want to change 50% to the fraction 1 half, you could have changed 50% to 0 0.5 as a decimal. And that would have still given you the correct answer. So here, if we did 48 times 0.5, 8 times 5 is 40, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. Move your decimal the correct number of places. Drop that trailing zero. Final answer using a decimal is 24. That matches our answer using a fraction. So 24 really is 50% of 48. Let's take a look at one more example of a type 2 problem. That's box F. It says blank is 25% of 36. So box the correct phrase that contains the word of. Put a box around 25% of 36. And make sure of is in the middle of the phrase. And you know that of means multiply. And type 2 problems are easier because I can already see the two numbers that I'm supposed to multiply together, 25% and 36. So in your workspace, write down 25% of 36. Next line, write down equals. And I'm going to convert 25% to a fraction. So 25% is the same as 1 fourth of means multiply, and then write down 36. And as you know, we shouldn't multiply first. We should simplify first. Divide by 4, divide by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So our final answer is 9. So 9 is 25% of 36. If you tried it with the fraction, 9 is 1 fourth of 36. That makes sense as well. And let's go ahead and check our answer using a decimal instead of a fraction. So 25% as a decimal is 0 0.25. So let me change my pen color. So we'll do 36 times 0.25. And you can tell this is going to get messy because it's double digit multiplication. So 6 times 5 is 30. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 3 gives me 18. Don't forget your placeholder. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 more gives me 7. Add them together. 0, 8 plus 2 is 10. 7 plus 1 plus the 1 that we carried over is 9. Move your decimal the correct number of places. Drop your trailing zeros. And your final answer is 9, which is the same answer that we got here by using a fraction. So whether you use a decimal or a fraction to solve this problem, you'll get the exact same answer. So we can see that 9 really is 25% of 36. Let's take a look at two problems from part 3. And be super careful with part three because these are mixed problems. You're going to see both type one and type two. So to make sure that you get the correct answer, 
box the correct phrase that contains the word of. Then solve the problem, show your work. So the first problem that we'll look at in part three is box I. 50% of blank is 21. So once again, the first thing that we have to do is box the correct phrase that contains the word of. So here, put a box around 50% of blank. Notice that of is in the middle of the phrase. And as you know, of means multiply, but this is a type one problem because I don't know what two numbers to multiply. One of them is 50%, but I do not know what this number is, and that's why I cannot just multiply to get the correct answer. Let's solve this using a proportion first, and then we'll check using a bar model. So first up, we'll use a proportion. It'll look like this. Percent over number equals percent over number. We'll solve it this way. So reread the problem. It says 50% of blank is 21. Write down 50% is 21. But we don't want to know what 50% is. We want to know what 100% is. So all you have to do is solve this proportion. How many times does 50% fit into 100%? It fits two times, so write down times two. Times two in the numerator, times two in the denominator. 50% times two is 100%. 21 times two is 42. So 50% of 42 is 21. And if you change 50% to a fraction, one half of 42 is 21, and that still makes sense. So let me clear my answer, and we'll check it using a bar model. So first, draw your 100% bar. And we need to split it up into 50% sections. So just cut it in half. This is 50%. This is 50%. And it says 50% of blank is 21. So this 50% right here is 21. And this 50% is also 21. And if you look at 100%, 100% is 42. And that matches our answer that we got when we used the proportion. So 50% of 42 is 21. Let's take a look at one more example. Go straight down to box M. Box M says, Blank is 50% of 36. So as always, box the correct phrase that contains the word of. So put a box around 50% of 36. And I can tell that this is a type 2 problem. It's easier to solve because I already know which two numbers to multiply together. So in your workspace, Go ahead and write down 50% of 36. Let me clean that up. Next line, write down equals. And I'm going to use a fraction first because that's going to be easier. So 50% is 1 half of means multiply. And 36 is just 36. And now you know how to solve this problem. So don't multiply first. Simplify first. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. Final answer, 1 times 18 equals 18. Box your answer. So 18 is 50% of 36. And if I make 50% a fraction, 18 is 1 half of 36. And that makes sense as well. Now, you might have had a hard time seeing that 18 is half of 36. So you could have also solved it using a decimal. Let's try that as well. So we'll write down 36 times, and 50% as a decimal is 0 0.5. So write down 0 0.5. 6 times 5 is 30. 
5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 more gives me 18. Move your decimal the correct number of places. Drop the trailing zero. Final answer is 18. It matches the answer that we got when we use the fraction. So 18 really is 50% of 36.